Whew, we have seen so many platforms out there try various ways to try and stop toxicity in gaming and esports this past weekend first brought to us by Devin Nash then of course confirmed by Twitch themselves they are taking the most extreme steps to combat toxicity I have seen of any platform out there especially when it comes time for streaming platforms first again brought to us by Devin as well it is now confirmed that banned users on Twitch once a streamer decides to ban a user he is actually going to be banned from the entire chat the chat can't see him they cannot see chat vice versa amidst a few other things as well most importantly being that all connected accounts or further accounts made on that same IP address are also shadow banned and treated the same exact way this means so much more to streamers out there and broadcasters and entertainers who are sick of toxic chat because once you are banned you are likely done for a long long time once you are banned every account you make ever since on that same IP address which many of us you know belong to the same one is going to also be shadow banned uh, confirmed by Devin as well though once you are unbanned every account is also hence unbanned but once you are actually banned as well it actually goes to show you cannot see chat chat cannot see you you can't whisper to people which is also a great small thing to throw in there because there are so many people out there who try and whisper scam uh, they try and whisper to many and hundreds of viewers out there offer them things that just aren't physically possible and scam that way so if you know there's a scammer in your chat you can ban that account and every account from that IP scamming is a gigantic issue I would say underlying issue when it comes time for twitch and YouTube streams so that measure in itself is a great one and this one all in all what do you guys think about this? I think when it take it for face value, this is great for streamers because we do have uh, several streamers out there who probably have dozens and dozens, if not hundreds, of people who only go to their streams to just trash talk them. Now, that really shouldn't be an issue. Now streamers have the upper hand and say, hey, if you really want to be banned, keep on saying the things you're saying that I don't like and you'll be gone for good. And I feel like the only people that are actually worried about this update are the ones that kind of ride the line of saying things maybe you shouldn't and maybe you think is funny and maybe you should and certainly if you have to actually ask yourself should I say this maybe you shouldn't be saying it in Twitch chat and now you can actually expect a ban to last for a long long time I would say overall a great update the only people I think would be worried about this are the people that are kind of ride that line of things that maybe should not be said and are kind of borderline toxic as well uh, lastly if you guys are worried about mods taking advantage of this it kind of puts that more essence on the Twitch streamers themselves to choose mods they have faith in because yes Every now and again, you're going to see, of course, in the smaller streams as well, you'll have that one mod who thinks they're all that, and they take advantage of the powers they've been given. Certainly, streamers now more than ever have to be very careful with the mods they do choose, because if you notice a sheer fall off in the viewers you have, maybe they've gone on a little bit of a ban page. I mean that as in ban rampage, and all of a sudden you're noticing, where are all these people that used to be here? So certainly choose your mods correctly, choose your mods carefully, but overall, this is a great measure, and a measure I think that actually actually will reduce toxicity, which is certainly always on the rise and always present on a platform like Twitch. I think it's a great thing. I don't know what you guys think about this. One last worry I have, which probably won't be a worry, when I go towards big event pages, whoever actually runs events or tournament organizers and their Twitch pages, do you guys remember back to the Blizzard handling of the Blitz Chung case? Remember the Hearthstone Pro who was banned for saying Free Hong Kong on broadcast? Remember all the spammers out there who were spamming Free Hong Kong, Free Blitz Chung, even on Hearthstone channels and tons of those users were actually being banned I, even though I do believe temporary bans what if that kind of thing happens again and all of a sudden we just have hundreds if not thousands of users being banned and banned and banned permanently from these big channels that's where I would see maybe an issue here and there I'm sure Twitch will tweak it out um, every now and again but still I would say a great update to actually combat toxicity and certainly Mixer could they use this Yes, I think any streaming platform could. Will they implement things like this in the future? I think we can only hope so. Let's see how it rides out on a platform like Twitch first. They are still breaking the way for many of these other platforms to follow suit in the future. Until next time, hope you guys all enjoy. I'll be back here all day long breaking down esports and gaming news, okay? Until then, take care. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm not going to ban any of you guys. You guys can comment whatever you want. Just be, but be nice.